What's up, guys? Adele here with Web3 TV in collaboration with Traders Brawl. Coming at you live, we are at the Ripple Swell Dubai event 2023. I'm joined here with special guest uh, Boone from Blockchain Laboratories. Boone, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you very much, Adele. Thank you for, for being on the show. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and what um, Blockchain Laboratories is doing. Yeah, Blockchain Laboratories, we're a Web3 venture studio, primarily focused on ESG uh, use cases. So uh, use cases that are focused on doing things good for people and planet. And uh, we're specifically here at the uh, Ripple Swell because we're building uh, two nature-based carbon credit registries on the XRP ledger. Ah, very nice. So you're using the XRP ledger blockchain um, and you're building, you're using that to build, is it carbon credits? Is that right? And you're helping reduce climate change? Absolutely. So we're we're working on two different carbon credit registries. Both are nature based, though, uh, methodologies. One of them is called Carbon Land Trust, and it's uh, carbon credits that will be issued from biodiverse forest lands that are being enrolled into perpetual conservation. So uh, companies that buy these carbon credits, they're actually contributing to creating old growth forests for future generations. And then the other project that we're working on is called Intrinsic Methods. And Intrinsic Methods is a, a reforestation, global reforestation of forestation company that has a really cool thing called root maker and it's a patented technology that any tree or plant you grow in a root maker container system has a 95 plus percent survivability rate and actually grows two to 300 percent faster than uh, the same tree that wasn't grown on. so uh, both of these platforms will be issuing uh, carbon removal credits on the xrp ledger from these ecological projects one fo whoops, one oh. focused on conservation and one focused on uh, reforestation of forestation oh interesting so that's great so um when when you know deforestation happens you you reforest you reforestate them is that is that correct term to say well so that's part of the problem is, is you know there's a lot of deforestation actually happening that there isn't any uh replanting of trees going on and not that these places won't grow back some natural uh plant life and things like that but um you know the the rate at which uh the world has actually been deforested over the last hundred years is about the uh, same amount that had happened over the last 2000 years. So we've cut down as much force in the last 100 years as the last 2000 years had cut down. And, and unfortunately, a lot of that is not being, uh, replanted or, uh, you know, stewarded in a way to really, uh, be regenerative. See now. Oh, I see. Well, that's, that's really interesting that you're, um, at least helping the world, helping the planet. Um, I think there's a great use case for for, the, for ESG, uh, which stands for, why don't you say, share it with us? Yeah, and so ESG, if you guys aren't familiar, it stands for Environmental Societal Governance. And it's really, you know, those are the three core use cases that we look at building uh, solutions at Blockchain Laboratories. So, you know, uh, these carbon products, they're really, I would say primarily focused on the E aspect, the environmental, but uh, there's a lot more than environmental benefits from uh, protecting and preserving biodiversity in nature. So the air that you and I are breathing today, you know, that oxygen was generated by plant life. And that's one of the key, you know, things about uh, actually protecting biodiversity in nature is that it's not just carbon removal benefits, but there's also a, a, a whole range of uh, uh, ecosystem benefits that, you know, is good for the people and planet. If you had an ESG superpower, what would it be? And what would you do with that? ESG superpower? That's a good question. Uh, I think this would be kind of weird, but I would say uh, like mind control to be actually to let the plant in, uh, the seed in people's mind to let them know that, you know, regardless of whatever negative things you've heard about the carbon markets or ESGs or these different things, uh, all industries have problems. Uh, but the reality of it is, is that every individual should actually really care about this planet that we live on and, and taking uh, the best care of it. So if I actually had a way that I could really convey and make people understand and, and take action, not just know something, but take action with what they know, uh, I think that would be a really powerful ESG uh, superpower. I love that question though. <laughs> And I think we'll end it there. So, uh, Boone, thank you so much for your time. Uh, yeah, I appreciate your time being on the show. And I think that's great knowledge for the audience to learn more about ESG and climate change and, um, you know, using XRP Ledger, com the, the intersection of blockchain and um, ESG and the intersection of blockchain and sustainability. 
and there's a great use case for that. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate you. Thank you. This is Web3 TV in collaboration with Traders Brawl. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for following us. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.